and Rosa here ready to show you my first time or my first pocket letter that I have made for swap that um that we have at crafters with artitude and Facebook and um I know this is something that's really in right now and everybody's like oohs and ahs about it and so I saw that they had a swap in um crafters with artitude they're gonna have one month they're gonna have it as a monthly swap so that way everyone has a chance to do a little pen pal pocket letter to everyone we get to know each other it's gonna be a lot of fun and I had one partner for this month I know some people had various partners I only had one but for my for this month in April we're gonna have various partners so let me just show you the one that I made for my partner it's also my first pocket letter ever and this is it. I did post some pictures on my Facebook already and stuff, but this is the, oh my God, the glare. The glare is really bad. Let me see. Okay, that's the three bottom. That's the middle ones. And this is the top ones. Okay, I made, I, I made this already over a week ago, but I haven't got a chance to record it. But now I'm recording it before I send it out to my partner. And um, let me show you what I did. First thing I did was I used the 6x6 paper pack by Authentique. It's, um, it's this one. This is the one that I used. It's um, the Classic Pretty. And I also used, I think I used like two of these. It's the Authentique Life Cards. The 3x4 journaling cards. And of course I had to cut some down because, you know, these pockets are much smaller. So let's start from the top to the bottom. The first thing I did, oh, and I did decorate the back as well. As you can see. Okay. So the first one was in an About Me. And basically what I did is that I made my own little tags that I printed out the little signs on here. And then in my, um, in most of all the pockets, a lot of the pockets I've used a lot of lace and trims, as you can see here. And I added two little flat back pearls. And then in the back, let me just show you. And then what I did was I added in a little envelope with the paper. I cut this little envelope in on my um, Silhouette Cameo. I actually, what I did is I measured it out and made it to the measurement to fit the pocket. And in there, in vellum, I printed out a little, see, and I glued it on here, a little about me information on here. So that's the first one, and this goes in the back here. I'm going to start taking them out, and then I'll just put them back in. And then this one is just says, simp I stamped on the paper, Simple Pleasures, and added my own handmade um, little uh, pearls, flatback pearls that, are, that they have glitter on them. And I added two um, metal charms on here that she could take out and use. That's why I guess the pa this is like really heavy. <laughs> really gave it um, weight. And I put a metal spoon and a little bicycle on here. And in the back of this one, I just added in like three of these little um, uh, flourishes, pearl flourishes. And I put, I think, oh, there's a rhinestone, two pearls, and one rhinestone. One pink and two white. Okay. And then in this one, I'm going to put this back. It looks so blank. And then in this one, I stamped on here just for you. And I added this little butterfly, which is glued on the outside part of the protector. I added a doily, which I cut up, like, in, like, two parts and just added on here. And added a little border here with a, a Martha Stewart punch and some pearls. And then in the back, of course, just for you, delicious candy. And then on this one, I stamped on the paper uh, recipes. And then I stamped this little kettle and this um, roller pin, um, rolling pin. Um, I colored them in. I stamped them and colored them with my Copics. And then just added this cute little fabric uh, bow on here. And then this right here, as you can see, this dangle here with the charms and the um, eyelash trim, I think this is what's called. And what I made for her was a little recipe book. See, and I try to get um, little recipes that are will be delicious, easy, 
and um, like with stuff with like five ingredients or less. So I got the lemon, the lemon blueberry yoga parfait. And what I did was I just um, printed out the picture of the recipe, the name of the recipe, and then the back is the recipe and the instructions and how to make it. So there's the lemon blueberry yoga parfait, the chocolate covered strawberries, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do that, and uh, peanut butter cookies, and the uh, triple chocolate chip cookies. Delicious recipes. Short. You know, with like I said, like with um, five ingredients or less, and with instructions, and I thought this was a great idea to share. Okay, then in the middle one, I colored in this cute little magnolia um, stamp, and then this die. I forget what this die is from. Uh, this actually is uh, glued on the back part of the, I mean, the outer part <laughs> of the protector. So when you pull out the card. It says the hellos on there. And what I did is I colored in this cute little tilde. I embossed this with one of my um, embossing folders and just highlighted it up a little bit. Added these two little um, flat back curls. And in the back, I just added this is like the um, mail tag, I think you could say. Because I think my address isn't about me. But this is a business card, one of my business card. And then I just put the month, the year, and new and friendship as a new friendship to this pocket letter and then on this one how these pocket letters are a little bit about ourselves as you all know I am Christian and I you know I love God and I love anything that's inspirational and I think that God's word is very inspirational so that's why I put a little God bless I glued on this little dove on the outer part of the of the protector as well and then I put in that this is on here so what I did was let me just pull this out so you can see in the back so what I did was like I wanted to put like some inspirational Bible text on here that's I put inspiration so if you want to look if you're down or you're sad and you want to look for some inspiration I put in four tags the first one it says it's by Psalms 98 4 which says make a joyful noise unto the Lord there's this one that said it's by um, Philip Philippine Philippians, sorry, 4.13. <laughs> I, can do all, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, which a lot of people know that. I'm pretty sure knows that text. And then there's the John 14.6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one goes to the fathers, not through me. That's what the rest says. <laughs> and then there's Second of Corinthians 5.7 is for we walk by faith and not by sight. So I just wanted to add these in for my partner just to, you know, when she's down or... You know, I just thought that it was a good idea for some kind of to give some kind of inspiration when you're down and low and we're going through a little struggle and you could read these just to, you know, lift you up a little bit and lift your spirit up a little bit. So that's why I wanted to put that in there. And I added this beautiful glittery flat back um, button. I think this was a button that I had in my stash and I just added it. I thought it was great with the coloring. Okay, so and then this one here is a tea time. This was also a stamp, which I did some shading with my markers and then just added some those little um little flag banners and then I just stamped the tea, tea time on here and then I just added, of course, a little bag of tea. This is chamomile with Annie's tea. Relaxing, very relaxing. I'm a big tea drinker. And then here, this is from the um, Authentic Life Cards. And I just cut it down, and if you hear that noise in the background, it's my cat playing with some a box that I have. <laughs> and it says, life is about the pretty little things, so I just wanted to add some pretty little things. And I added two little pink buttons on here, which she could use. They're like um, those buckle buttons, and or lace buttons. And then I added some um, baker's twine, and some of those cute little mini um, bows. Oh my god, my cat's making a lot of noise. <laughs> And um, these are just lightly adhere on here so they could be easy to take off. And then right here, it says friends, well let me show you the front. It says letter and, and I put love, that's actually on the inside. And then I made a little um, pocket here, it says friends on there. And there's my letter to my partner. So that is my pocket letter which I took everything out. Let me just put everything back into place. Here, let me put my recipe book. And put everything to place so this was so much fun I really enjoy it this is a great way 
to start to get to know a lot of our crafty friends out there and a way to save some of their creations an easy way to do a swap without no hassle and um, not a lot of hard work it's something that um, is easy we could share our ideas our thoughts our um, our life with our crafty friends out there that we meet talk to share but we never see barely meet in person unless you live real near person or you fly out to meet them or go to conventions where you can meet them as for me i live in puerto rico so it's real hard for me to do that <laughs> So here's my pocket ladder, my first one that I have ever made. I just joined for the um, April one that we're having um, in Crackers with Artitude and I can't wait to make more. So I just wanted to share this quick project with you guys. Hope you like it um, and I hope to see you guys next time. You all have a beautiful, lovely night. God bless. Bye bye.